Hi guys, welcome to another Holy Fort challenge. In today's challenge we're going to play one of the most powerful countries in its continent. To be precise, the third most powerful country in its continent. And that is... Liberia. Iron Man mode off, I start where Fox is on a regular difficulty, start. My goal for Liberia is to liberate most, or if possible, all of African continent from the European overlords. We start democratic, my first goal is to switch ideology to the Best ideology, whose leader is Robert Brown, random guy, so I'm going to go for political effort. Also build one level of infrastructure in Liberia, basic torpedo, as well as interwar fighters. I'm going to assign my single division and let's exercise it. And let's go, look at this thick Ethiopia. Political effort is finished and I'm going to hire a fascist demagogue. The next focus is naval effort. I'm going to need lots of convoys and also big navy. And one great thing about uh, forgotten countries such as Liberia, in the new update they got bugged military high command. For example, they got experts which cost the same price specialists do, as you can see. Now I can hire infantry experts for only 50 political power. This will get me a lot of army experience. And bye bye Ethiopia, or brethren has fallen. And once again I can hire a military high command guy, I'm gonna hire army grouping expert. And naval effort is finished, I'm gonna go for industrial effort. Let's produce convoys, and let's import steel from France. I got 15 army experience, so I'm gonna add it to my template, let's make it 10 width. And let's hire another guy. Army experience is nice, but I need air experience as well, so I'm gonna go for air reformer now. Into our fighter and basic torpedo our resource, I'm gonna go for CAS-1 and early submarine hull. After industrial effort, I'm gonna go for construction effort. The worst thing about Liberia is that it starts democratic. If it was no line at least, then it would be faster switching ideologies. Now I'm gonna hire army organization expert and army logistics expert. Why is everyone brown? Literally, this guy is Charles Brown, and this guy is Michael Brown, and this guy is Robert Brown. Let's go for construction effort too. And let's finally get a military theorist. Should I get Aaron Pin or George Flipper? Let's go for George Flipper, he has a funnier name. Imagine being hired just because your name is funny. And the early submarine hull is researched. I'm gonna research basic machine tools. I will start production of or submarines. I'm going to create a very cheap submarine with only torpedo tubes. One. 16th of January. About a month and a half for each submarine. Not bad. After construction effort 2, I'm gonna go for infrastructure effort. And my first submarine is built. Cast 1 is researched, but I'm not going to produce it yet. Let's research electronic mechanical engineering. And let's improve workers' conditions. Let's research this first industry one. Infrastructure effort is finished. I'm gonna go for construction effort three. And finally, my first level of land doctrine. Superior firepower, obviously. Let's train second division. Electronic mechanical engineering is researched. I'm gonna go for improved machine tools. And construction effort three is finished. I'll let my factories build that level of construction, then I can bypass this focus. So instead, I'm gonna go for armament effort. I'm gonna use command power to hire some more generals, hopefully I can get a uh, brilliant strategist. Osborne Ratcliffe, oh my god, what a name. I'm running out of manpower, so I'm gonna go for limited conscription. That's gonna solve the manpower issue for now. And here we are, second division. Armament effort is finished. Now let's go for armament effort too. I'm gonna start production of CAS. Not any sort of CAS, I got 60 air experience, so I'm going to increase range on my CAS. And later reliability as well, but for now I need range. So CAS 1 Mark 1 goes into production. Also, I'll be importing aluminum from France. I just realized this guy's name is Won Loi Chan. Isn't that a Chinese name or something? Anyway, this person issue 1 is researched. I'm gonna go for this person issue 2. I'll be switching ideology soon, so I'm gonna save up political power. Let's open up political discourse and let's research mechanical computing. Let's go for arm and effort 3 and let's train third division. And let's get delay. And here comes the third army. Armament effort 3 is finished. I'll have to wait until I finish building this infrastructure. Sadly I'm going to lose a couple of days, but it's alright. And now infrastructure effort 2 is bypassed and I'm gonna go for extra research slot. I'm gonna build three levels of airport here. Also I'll put one factory on production of transport planes. Once I get that single transport plane I'm gonna stop production. Extra research slot is finished. And now I'm just a couple of days away from switching ideology. I need to wait until I have 40.10% fascist support. And here we are. Now I can discredit the government and I can hold a national referendum. Bye bye, Star. Hello, 
cross or actually plus. Now let's go for collective sentence. And I'm going to research paratroopers. This person industry 2 is researched. I'm going to research transport ships now. And let's go for political loyalty. Actually, before doing that, I'm going to hire some generals. Hopefully, we won't any spirit strategist. Nope. Well, that's too bad. Let's go for political loyalty. And now stability goes from 64 to 72%. Hmm, did you know that UN is leading Portugal? I remember back in the day, the party was called Estado Novo, not UN. Just like in Brazil. Republicans have 30 divisions and they're reduced to this amount of land. Is this some strat or something? I am I am in the cursed back rooms of Holy Four. I am in diplomacy panel with Republican Spain, which no longer exists. Justify our goal. Ask for military access. <laughs> I can improve relations with non-existent country. Let's not do that, actually. Let's go for nationalism focus now. Let's go for state service and military so I can get more political power. And also cheaper conscription laws. I can't for computing is done. I'll go for radio because soon I'll be expanding. Talking about conscription laws, I'm gonna go for extensive conscription. And I think now that it's time. Let's justify, okay, in order to BP. Now let's justify against Portugal. Yes, I'm gonna colonize Portugal pretty much. Let's finally deploy our cast. We've got 64. I'm going to exercise them and give them 400 limit. I should stop production of transport planes. Uh, once I finish building the second one, I'm gonna stop. And that's it's enough transport planes. The future belongs to reorganized Liberian Free State. Nationalism focus is finished, and I'll go for militarism. And let's train another division. Transport ships are researched. I'll go for construction one now. And here comes the fourth division. Paratroopers one are researched. Dispersed industry free. And after militarism, I'm gonna go for military youth. Now let's go for mobile defense. I'm gonna delete this template, I'm gonna create a new one consisting of only one paratrooper battalion. Yeah, I just saved five army experience. Let's train one of those. Actually, let's train three. Let's switch to our economy. And radio is researched. Support weapons one. Let's deploy these paratroopers. Let's train one more regular division. And military youth is finished. Now I'm gonna go for paramilitarism. And let's deploy fifth regular division. Now let's go for region-wide industrial integration. I'm also gonna build a sieve in Liberia. After construction 1, I'm obviously going to go for construction 2. And justification for Portugal is finished. I'm going to declare on them a bit later though. I'm going to start training another division. And let's stop exercising on our, our army. I kind of started justifying on Portugal a bit too early. I should have done it a bit later, but it's okay. Hey, you know what? Let's declare on them now. Paramilitarism is finished. Let's go for ideological fanaticism. I need its focus in order to defeat Portugal. Sport weapons 1 are researched. I'm going to go for defense machine tools. And let's go for, actually, I want to go for doctrine, I'm going to go for air crew surveys. Come on. Craft dodging. And here comes the last division, the 6th regular division. I'm going to put them all into one army, except for the last division. It's going to stay here. All these divisions will go elsewhere in a moment. This person actually free research. researched, I'm going to go for weapons 1. A wise decision, thank god. 5% stability and 5% war support. Let's improve relations with Spain. Fate of Czechoslovakia and also Albania, am I right? Yes. Ideological of Nazism is finished and my goal is to create faction with Spain. They won't accept because war tension is not high enough, so let's increase it. I'm gonna start justifying against USA once I get enough PP. In the meantime, let's go for secret weapons. And one more PP. And now let's start justifying against USA. Now I can create faction with Spain. The down of your faction name here. And also I'm going to cancel justification against USA. Now I will gladly call these guys into war, but they're never gonna accept because they have recovered from Spanish Civil War. So let's take my entire army and move it to Cadiz, as well as my navy, as well as my air force. Well, air force will go to Sevilla, not to Cadiz. And let's go for this first support. I'll be taking my paratroopers, to an airport. Let's deploy transport planes here. I'm gonna move my regular army right here. Paratroopers will paradrop in Tafaro, and these guys will do close air support in southern Iberia. And they paradropped. I had to make sure to give these guys a general, and they will have to do last stand. And here we are. My troops have just arrived, and now I am in Portugal. Yay! I'm gonna put my paratrooper guys into the separate division and just let them be. While well, my infantry will have a front line like this. My first goal is to encircle these two divisions, and I did it. I'll try to encircle as many Portuguese divisions as I can, and let's go for army effort now. Let's go for construction free. 
That's it. Lisbon has fallen. Let's encircle some more of their divisions. And this is a beautiful encirclement. They're pushing me back, but they're losing divisions, so I'm winning. Let's see the casualties. They got 43,000, so I got 2,000. Let's go for improved infantry equipment. One. Let's get computing machine. And that's another three divisions. Let's finally take this airport once again, and let's kick Spain out of faction. I'm gonna start just fighting against them now. I know, this is the top level betrayal. And the World War II is about to start. And let's go for overwhelming firepower. I guess I'm gonna go for aviation effort. And these are the last four Portuguese divisions. Let's destroy them. And that's the last division destroyed. Let's check the casualties one more time. I got 6,000 casualties, 6.5. They got 104,000 casualties. GG. Portugal. I'm gonna take all states except for their core states. I'm also going to take Guarda. And let's pop it then. And now I'm gonna have manpower, as you can see. Why? Because I took over Angola, I took over Mozambique. Portugal had about 90% compliance here and I got half of it, so 44% is pretty nice. So now I can train more divisions. I'm going to train as many as I can. 16, that's nice. Good enough. Portugal sadly has no manpower, only 5,000. That's nothing. Also, I'll be switching these paratroopers into infantry divisions. And let's move all of them right here. The reason why I took uh, this state was so I don't have to call in Portugal into the war. So the one thing that I didn't do but could have done was war propaganda against Portugal. Too bad I didn't do it. And Germany just started attacking Benelux. Let's go for local police force and also I'll be creating a new template. With only one cavalry division. That will be my garrison template. Let's deploy these 16 divisions. And I'll be moving them to the first army. I got exactly 24 now. And 24 factories as well. Aviation effort is finished, I'm gonna go for motorization effort. Let's get dive bombing. And Luxembourg has just found, which means France falls too as well. Why? Well, Luxembourg is obviously the most powerful country in the Allies, so once it capitulates, everybody else capitulates. And France has capitulated, which means the Vichy France was established, which has most of the French colonies. I think you know where this is going. And improved if French equipment 1 is done. I'm gonna go for support weapons too. Now let's go for artillery, I guess. And let's start justifying against Vichy France. It's gonna take 180 days. Construction tree is researched. Let's go for improved computing machine. These are 0.01 years ahead of time. Captain of industry. Motorization effort is finished. I'm not gonna pick any focuses for now. Hmm, I like it how Germany is in Congo. But that means I will have a hard time actually conquering entire Africa. That's misfortunate. I'm about to declare war on Spain, so I'm gonna move my cast into Guarda. And let's finally join the Axis. I won't be joining the war, so I just want to be in the Axis. And justification is finished. Let's declare war. And let's finally do technology sharing. I'm gonna get that fourth resource slot in two months. Oh, in one at war, I should be doing war propaganda against Spain. And that's my first encirclement. Three divisions, so let's destroy them. Another single division right here. Oh no, they're taking Cape Verde. This is the end of the world for us. The fall of Nanking, rip Nanking. Let's get mobile offensive, support equipment, improved computing machine is researched. Let's get nuclear, atom I mean atomic research. And this encirclement is destroyed, let's see. Spain is almost done. I think once I take Barcelona, they're gonna be capitulating. So let's go for Barcelona. Or well, you know what, let's not capitulate them just yet. Let's wait for 80 more support, then I can go for total mobilization. Technology sharing is finished. Now I have four research slots. Let's go for trucks. And let's go for fighter focus. Let's go for direct ground support. And I just need one more percent of more support, and then I can go for total mobilization. Norway has capitulated, that was pretty quick. And now I should be able to go for total mobilization. I need more than 80%, so I just need more and more percent of war support. My guys have almost reached Barcelona, so let's stop them. And now, total mob it is. I'm gonna force attack into Barcelona. I think once I take Barcelona, the war is over. Also, I'm gonna go for La Coruña and Valencia. And yeah, Bilbao. Bilbao is 10 victory points. Barcelona has fallen. They're close to capitulation. La Coruña has fallen. And I think Bilbao means capitulation. Yes. Spain. I'm going to take Spanish Africa, Sidi Ifni, Rio de Oro, Canary Islands, and Equatorial Guinea. I'm gonna pop them in the rest of the states. And now, if I'm not wrong, they're gonna have a lot of manpower. Yes, they have a million. 1.3. One. Justification against Vichy France is 94% of arts completion. I'm gonna send my entire army here. 
Ellen sent six divisions in Spanish Africa. I'm gonna create a Spanish template. This template is good. I'm just gonna remove engineers and add another infantry battalion. So it's 10 with. And let's train a bunch of them. And I'm gonna build saves in Guarda. I'm not gonna give it back to Portugal. Let's have this border go right here. Sadly, I barely have any rubber and I don't have any aluminum. But soon that's gonna change. And justification for Guinea is finished. Let's make sure, yes, I have one division in Liberia. So Vichy France doesn't just come and destroy me. I'm also gonna deploy some CAS here. 100 will be good enough. Once again, I don't wanna be destroyed by Vichy France. And let's declare war. Make sure that CAS is supporting my guys here. And let's not forget to call in Spain. And I'll be going for Oran, Algiers, uh, Constantine, Anaba, and also Batna. One division also go to Casablanca. I'm gonna go for Engineer Company and support weapons free. Taking their Algerian victory points, you might be wondering why am I going to Algeria? Well, this is their core states. This one, this one, and this one. For some reason, because they do that focus, I think uh, Bloom Violet proposal, but I'm not sure. After fighter focus, I'm gonna go for Aviation Effort 2. Everyone wants to help me. Everyone wants to be my bro. Wish it was like that in real life. Are Spanish divisions ready? Yes, they are. Deploy them. Let's put them into the second army. They're also gonna go into the southern France. Not like that, but like that. This is maximum level of cope. I don't refer to Vichy France as Vichy France, but as southern France. Now let's deploy more CAS. Northern Africa is a mess. Let's go for formation fighting. I like it how my undersupplied divisions in deserts are going faster than these guys in populated areas. Vichy France will soon capitulate. I think I need Lion and Nice, and they should be capitulating. Is Nice enough? It's not enough, I need another retreat point. Let's just force attack and take a city and end this madness. And Limon is fallen, I think this is enough. Yes it is. Vichy France. I'm gonna go... I'm gonna take out states, except for their states in southern France, and also except for the states in southeast Asia. There's rubber here, there's tungsten here, I wanna make sure that I, that I have that during the war. And let's puppet them. Now this puppet has steel and aluminum here, as well as tungsten and rubber here, although tungsten was never an issue. Now it's time to start preparing for war with the Allies. In the war with the Allies, I won't be defending Central Africa and southern parts of Africa, I just want to defend Western Africa, so I'll try to take Nigeria, Ghana, Sierra Leone and Gambia. Let's convert all these guys to the Spanish template, and let's train 24 of these divisions. Although I have an issue, and that's weapons. What am I gonna give those guys? I guess I'm gonna start producing guns. 10 factories of guns, well 15, that's definitely gonna be enough. And obviously I'm going to import steel from Vichy France. Actually let's stop back importing everything, because I've got 52 factories, I can do extra research slot too. And let's import everything again. Hunt and destroy, infantry equipment too. Let's go for improved infantry equipment too. Now let's get new guns. Let's use three divisions right here, another three divisions in Sierra Leone, five divisions in Ghana, and the rest will go to Nigeria, on the western border of Nigeria. And I'm going to be building airports in Benin, or well, Dahomey, and maybe an airport in Niger as well. I care about Nigeria deeply because, look at this, they have 21.2 million population, and Britain has 100% compliance, and when I take them over, I'm gonna have 50% compliance, which means I might get like 200,000 manpower out of nowhere. And I don't want to overly rely on Spanish manpower, because it is running dry a bit. And you know what, let's start just fighting against Britain. I'm gonna go for Sierra Leone, and maybe we'll go to Antwerpen. I remember when there was no port here, for some reason, now there's level 8 port. I'm gonna put my first army right here, to cancel all these guys, I was instead train some Spanish ones. Sport weapons 3, let's go for this person issue 4. Oh, I was wondering where is the improved worker conditions option, but it was hidden under political actions. Well, let's go for improved worker conditions as well as promises of peace. I'm gonna lose some war support, but I'm gonna get it back through the war propaganda. Justification against Britain is finished. Britain is sending out its divisions, I'm gonna leave Axis. Let's start deploying planes. I'm gonna put some cast in Senegal, let's put 200. Or 200 in Liberia. Wow, this airport, I just built it, I just built it and it's already destroyed. Come on. Okay, now it's back there. I'm gonna deploy another 200 planes here. And let's deploy another 200 in Niger. 
Let's wait for the allied planes to move out because they're annoying. And now all is set. I think I'm ready to declare war. I'm not gonna join the Axis, so let's declare war on the Britain. My planes will destroy them. Let's first take Sierra Leone and let's push into Ghana. I'm going to lose a bunch of land right here, but it's alright. I'm gonna do some force attack. Let's go for CAS effort. I'm also gonna start researching CAS too. Let's improve artillery. This is three British divisions destroyed right here. Let's push them out of Eastern Gambia. And I'm going to do the good old exploit here. I already destroyed three divisions, so I'm about to destroy the fourth one. I'm gonna let the Britain have Banjul. I don't really care about it. There's not many people here, only 200 thousands. So they can have it. Public line like this. And let's go. Let's push it to Nigeria. Let's go for centralized fire control. And I'm pushing the British troops out of Ghana. And look at this, they have five divisions in Accra. I'm gonna establish another troll zone in Accra. If you don't know what troll zone is, then good for you. My CAS destroys them, and that's gonna be four divisions destroyed, one of which is medium tank division. And once again, I'm not going to take out Accra. Instead, I'm going to take these four divisions, give them, put them in this army, and let's give them a fallback line like this. All of you guys go into Nigeria. Why, why are they so weirdly deployed. There's three divisions here, one division here, no divisions here, and no divisions here, but there's one now. Probably using field marshal orders. Now let's just go. And here comes the first victim, look at them. Destroyed. And another one. Anyway, it's year 941, which means soon the Japan will occur on the Philippines and then on the Dutch East Indies and British Malaya and we'll be fighting the big boy right here. So let's make sure that we take out Britain before that. Since we are in the same war, I'll be asking Germany for military access. And now I'm going to take these guys and send them to Dunkirk. These new aid divisions, so I'm going to deploy them. And I'll be switching them to paratrooper template. Oh my god, I... What happened to my navy? Come on, they moved out of Dunkirk and they got destroyed. Well, that doesn't matter. It's because I'll be doing something that I didn't want to do. So let's join the Axis. Sadly, I had to do this. And my paratroopers will go where? To the closest airport, Calais. Transport planes will go there as well. My goal is simple. I'm gonna try to paradrop into Britain. Try to take a port, move my army into there. I just want to check if there is any divisions in Dower. If not, I'm going to power drop into Dower right away. There's not a single division in Dower. Well, I'm going to power drop into Dower then. And also make sure to power drop behind Dower as well. Here and here. I'm going to give these guys a general. And they're going to do force attack and last stand. So when they land, they actually stay there for longer. Dower is ours. And these two provinces as well. So I'm going to move all of them to here. I should be power dropping them into there. While my regular first army is going to go to Dower like this. They're doing last stand, so they should be fine. They should be able to hold on against Britain. And now let's give them air support with my 800 Chaos Bombers. And I managed to deploy my army, which is nice. Now let's push. I will do my exploit where I get to war participation, but I don't think that I have time for that. And they managed to somehow land a division in Dower. What the hell was that? They just went back. And these two divisions got destroyed. Nice. I'm gonna go for Birmingham. I'm pretty sure Britain will not care if they lose Birmingham. They would actually like it. Yeah, they definitely like this loss. Oh no, Japan just took into China. I think the Axis planes finally arrived. Yes, the air is green, which is nice. I'm gonna do some logistical strikes. These troll zones went out of control, kinda. Doctrine effort is finished, I'm gonna go for Doctrine effort 2. Oh no, my division got encircled. Well, I guess I'm gonna do war. I mean, last stand. No, that's, that wasn't enough. I'm not sure, but I think that the Britain made a mistake here. I'm not sure if this is a mistake, but I'm pretty sure that losing your capital is not a good thing. And also getting four of your divisions encircled as well. That's definitely not good. Look at this, 1000 airplanes here. Cast 2 is research, I'm gonna go for cast 3. And I guess I'm gonna go for weapons 3, I don't know what to research anymore. And this encirclement is destroyed, yay. Let's try to encircle enemies in East Anglia now. And I cut them off. That's another four divisions there. Japan declared war on Philippines, which means 
in 70 days we're gonna be at war with the USA if I don't take out Britain. And finally Norwich is taken. I'll try to push even further. Look at this. Italy decided to send one division as well as Germany. Well, they decided. They actually, they actually sent a bit more than one. Still, that's not much. And I took this airport here and then set up another two divisions. So let's destroy them. And another two in Lincolnshire. And Birmingham is encircled. Let's go for Sheffield. Another division in Nottingham. I have a bit more than a month left. Another three divisions in Cardiff and another four in Wrexham. Goodbye. Very relevant Wales. Let's go to Newcastle upon Tyne. And Germany could run the Soviets. I won't be joining that war. Newcastle is fun, I think when we take Liverpool it's gonna be over. And let's finally do it. Liverpool has fallen. Are they gonna capitulate? They just did. The game is lagging, which means good news. Here's the peace deal. Italy is really taking everything. They can take in the peace deal. Kind of cringe, not gonna lie. Bonus exploit in this game. I'm gonna show you something broken. If you have a puppet of actual France, not the Vichy France, but the Free France, and if they control Lille de Francais or basically Paris, what happens is you'll see in the moment. Now, the thing is, this French puppet I just created, let's wait for a peace deal. The French puppet took. It's lands back, as you can see it's my puppet. And now what happens to Vichy France is it gets annexed. So yeah, that's a good thing to know. Anyway, look at this thick Liberia. Sadly I didn't free Kenya, Ethiopia, Somalia, Djibouti, Eritrea, and a big chunk of Sudan, as well as Libya, much of Egypt, and southern half of Tunisia. Now I could attack Axis. I could liberate these lands. However, that's gonna be waste of brain cells, both yours and mine. Because look at this, there is no supply hubs here at all. So yeah, that's about it. I hope you liked this, I hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't, well then, sorry for wasting your time. If you did, then what are you waiting for? Like, share and subscribe and all that. And yeah, see you in the next one. Bye. Is it me or these mountains look like they're made of gold when there's mud in them?